in an unsteady operational flow, the velocity and water depth change with time and position. The Savannah equation are a system of two equations to solve one dimensional unsteady operational flow. One equation is a continuity equation, and the other is a dynamic equation. The following photograph illustrates a classical application of unsteady operational flow, an estuarine zone, that of the Brisbane River meandering through the city center. The seven equations were developed based upon six key assumptions. One dimensional flow, so the flow is uniform in a cross section and the transverse free surface profile is horizontal. The streamline curvature is very small and the vertical fluid acceleration are negligible. The pressure is hydrostatic. The flow resistance and turbulent losses are the same as in steady uniform equilibrium flow for the same depth and velocity irrespective of the trend of the depth. The bed slope is small. This assumption, sine theta equal tan theta and cos theta equal 1, is valid within 0.1% for a slope less than 2.6 degrees and within 1% for a slope less than 8 degrees. So water density is constant and the sediment motion is neglected. We assume a fixed boundary channel. With this basic hypothesis, the flow is described at any point on time by two variables only, for example, the velocity and the depth. Note that the cross section shape is indirectly limited by the assumption of one-dimensional flow, horizontal transverse free surface, and hydrostatic pressure. The differential form of the seven equation is presented here, and the following sketch provides the definition of the free surface elevation, y, water depth d, free surface width b, cross-section area A on weighted perimeter PW. Practically, it is nearly impossible to achieve an exact solution of the seven equations because of the non-linear terms and because of the complexity of several functions in natural channels. Most computation models are thus based upon the numerical integration of the seven equation. In the dynamic equation, the friction slope may be related to the head loss over a distance along the flow direction on the Darcy equation, in which f is a Darcy Vesbach friction factor, which is a function of the Reynolds number and relative roughness height, in which Ks represents the height of the protrusion from the mean profile of the boundary. In open channels, the Darcy equation is the only sound method to estimate the friction losses. Historically, the flow resistance was estimated using empirical coefficient, Chesey, Bazin, Gauclair, Manning, Strickler. These outdated and physically meaningless concepts are not promoting for the fundamental of fluid mechanics in open channel hydraulics, and their use in mind match channel is highly inaccurate. The Chesey and Gauclair Manning equations express our continuing ignorance of turbulent processes. They are at best empirical relationships with scarcely a trace of analytical foundations. The seven equations were developed for one-dimensional flow with hydrostatic pressure distribution, small bed slope, constant water density, no sediment motion assuming the flow resistance is the same as for steady uniform equilibrium flow. These limitations are quite restrictive and limit the applicability of the results. The concept of seven equations continuity equation, momentum equation and flow resistance are essential to the numerical modeling of open channel flow and its practical applications. These are discussed in the relevant YouTube video movies in the same playlist.